this morning. We sing the mighty power of God. Oh, amen. That's our hymn for Praise this morning. Praise God. Page 76. I hope you're there already because I already gave you that page before we started. Get that hymn book out. In Him Restoration. restoration. Amen. So, Cheryl, we're yes, having sir. a great time this morning. Oh, we yes. Are. We are praising the Praise Lord. Praise God. I feel His presence already. Yes. When you sing about the mighty power of God, you can't help but feel His presence. That's you know, right. This hymn uh, is, is so beautiful because it speaks of God's creation. I mean, have you ever looked out your window and see, well, if you're, you live in the country and see all the beautiful trees and the grass and all that, and the beautiful heavens and the, the clouds. That's what this hymn speaks about. Yes, it God's does. God's mighty power oh, to make all that Praise you, Jesus. As he can in our lives. Same thing. So I, I just feel led, before we read it, I before we sing it, yes. I, I have to read a couple of these verses. Okay. All right? I'm so glad you're on today. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with us, the fellowship. Lord, I ask you bless us this morning. Bless us. With your mighty power, Father, in our lives. Oh, yes, Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to come together yes, as one big, great family of God. Amen. Lord, thank you. Bless us today. I pray glory. that you will give us wisdom and all that is said, and all yes, that is Lord. done, all the music we Every sing, all that Cheryl's going to share with us, all Praise that we see Jesus. in the Word of God this morning. Thank you. May it dwell deeply into our hearts, Father. Thank you so much for the opportunity that we have. Thank you for all those that are watching. We bless you this morning. We do. We love you so much. Yes, and appreciate Jesus. appreciate you being there. So here, let me just read. Because Jesus. you need to hear this, this lyric. And then we're going to sing it. So like I said, page 76. If you have the hymn book, read it with me. I sing the mighty power of God. Just saying that. Ooh, <laughs> just amen. Sing it gives you such strength to know and feel his power. That make the mountains rise that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command and all the stars obey. Oh, and that's, well, how powerful is that? I'll tell you, my when goodness, Isaac yes. Watts wrote this, he must have been Right so inspired, oh my goodness. Oh, or near the water. You know, so man, inspired. Of all of this. I want, to read the last, I want to read the last verse too. Of course, we're going to see the second because that's just as powerful. Yes. There's not a plant or flower below, but makes thy glories known. Oh, when you look at those beautiful roses, mm. those beautiful flowers, the, and the colors that he's created. And clouds arise and tempt Tempests flow, but order from the, it's all ordered from the throne of God. Praise you, While Jesus. all the, the, the borrows life, while all that borrows life from thee is ever in thy care. And everywhere that we can be, thou God are present there. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, he's present right, right now. Right now, right here, right okay, there where I'm you are. I'm going to play the introduction. I've got my piano book here of all the hymns that if you're a pianist, I hope you have a piano book because you can play this grand opening. <laughs>
created all around us. Take it for granted. Sometimes we just stop and just look and praise God for that which he's made upon this earth. Dino, for those who uh, don't have the book, I just want to say this. Isaac Watts is considered the father of English language yes. hymn writing, uh -huh. and many hymns that we hold dear even today came from his pen, including When I Survey the Wondrous Cross oh, great one. and the Christmas favorite Joy to the World, which we will sing uh, r very soon, yeah. I'm sure. We may even sing that today. He preached and also wrote many books, but his hymn writing is his greatest legacy. Oh, we can attain to that, can't we? Attest to it for yes. for the words in that beautiful these song. These hymns are, are, I mean, just coming back to these great hymns that we haven't heard for years. Right. Just gives a fresh approach to what was written back then, how powerful. We don't, we don't hear those kind of lyrics anymore in our songs. No, that we, we don't. Sing in church. We really don't. These are powerful songs. Thank and you. these are men and women of God that have written some of the greatest hymns that we need to sing today. And that's amen. what we're doing. And All right? Amen. How long has it been now, Cheryl, that we've come out with this hymn book? I'll tell you, that was a God thing when we did yes. that. Yes. I'm sure there's a date in here. I've forgotten it. It was for many days we studied and worked and, you sure did. You and sure uh, did. compiled. But, oh, we're thankful. Now let's turn to page 136. Oh, worship the king. That's another great hymn of the church. It is. Oh, I yes. love that hymn. Oh, worship the king. Okay.
my favorite songs oh, all year round. We get to sing that. Oh, come, so let wonderful. us adore him. So oh, come, all ye faithful. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise God. Those that are faithful to come before his presence. Praise God for this wonderful music that we can sing year after year after year. These are hymns that have been around forever. As long as I've been alive, <laughs> how about you? I yeah. think you too. But wow. we grew up on these great hymns. And of course, the Christmas carols are always, always, every year, we sing those. Great blessing. Praise God. They are Since you brought that up, Cheryl, that's <laughs> one of the joy, joy to you. Six, joyful, joyful, we adore him. Page 96. 96. As long as I can remember. How about you? I may have been. I think so too. <laughs> but uh, uh, some songs that we sang years ago. This this one, I, I hope you recognize it. Uh, back in New York City at our church, Glad Tidings Tabernacle. Now that was in New York. I don't know what, if you sang it in Alabama and the South, but, but we sang it in New York. I think, Cheryl. How about uh, Texas? What is it? Well, Texas. Uh, <laughs> The Lion of Judah shall break every chain. Is it in here? Do you remember that? It's not in the hymn book. Oh. It's something that just popped in my spirit. Oh, uh, how wonderful. And I, said, and I had to call my sister. That's why I called my sister Chris, because she remembers all these songs. Remember my sister? She was on She was on with us on Facebook about uh, a year ago. Yes. And uh, she remembered the words, and they're very simple. And I could teach them to you. But this is how the melody goes. And some of you may even know it already. It goes... represented by the lion. Yes. You know, we think of him as a lamb of God, and that's wonderful too, because he's as sensitive and sweet and beautiful and gentle as a lamb. Yes. But he's also a lion. Oh, and yes. And the Lord knows that we need that lion today in this our lives, day. in our Christ. in our nation. Mm -hmm. The lion of Judah, that's strong, that's powerful. The lion of Judah shall break every chain and Give to us the victory again and again. I'm going to read those words because it repeats twice like that way. The Lion of Judah shall break every chain. Say that. The, the Lion, Lion of Judah, Judah shall break, break every chain, chain and, and give, give to us, us the victory, victory again, again and again. again. It repeats again and How again. How wonderful. That's all you need to sing on this, and it's so powerful. And give us the victory Praise God. Amen. Almighty Think of the Jesus. chains that have bound uh, people through the years. But yes. the Lion of Judah shall break every chain.
Those lions, God, their mouths shut were, their, mouths, their jaws which were gave, locked. gave him, Daniel, the victory. Again and again. Again and again. How Praise about you? God. Has God given you the victory again and again? Yes, he has. Oh, yes. God of Judah shall break up. Experience that? Oh, Share that with Jesus. us. We want to hear your testimony, how God has healed you. And those that don't know about his miracle power, well, you're not watching because of coincidence. No. You're watching because God caused you to watch Amen. this morning. Right. To know about his mighty power. Yes. Oh, listen. What will we do without the mighty power of God today? What will we do? I don't know how I don't know, I don't know how people survive this day. Deal, I don't either. Yeah, I really, really don't. I would not because know how, how can to. you how can you do that on your own? Well, people don't. That's why alcoholism, and that's, that's why, why drugs, and that's why uh, suicide and all that. Because in ourselves, we cannot right handle the situation. That's right. Isn't it wonderful that we can just turn it over to God and oh. let Him go out there and roar and take care of what needs to be done? And we need that roaring today when it comes to. The, to, to our nation and what's yes, happening Jesus. right now in the United States of America. Things are shifting. I told you last week Amen. that things are going to begin to shift. And what do you think is happening this week? I don't have to tell you the details. I'm not here to give you the, 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 the news like they give. But you, if you're watching, you know something is happening. Oh, things thank you, Jesus. are shifting. You'll see what God's going to do. You will be so happy and to know that God is in control and takes care of whatever conflict, whatever aggression that's taking place on the evil side, God in his majesty, his <laughs> lioness, and right. will take care of it. And we're going to pray them by next Sunday morning. I'm telling you, things will happen You'll, by this Sunday, even today, by Tuesday, every day. Things are shifting. God is bringing his people in alignment, alignment yes, Jesus. with what he has, what he has written Ordained in the what word he's ordained. and has prophesied Amen. as to what's going to happen in this day and age. That's good Little word. We realize, mm. Remember we read the Bible as a kid about a prophecy that China is going to be a part of the last days? What's happening today? What's happening today? Right? And what All are we to happen right in what our are generation. we to do, Dino? We are to trust, we are to praise him yes. and obey him, and not let our words get twisted up and go wrong. Shall break every chain and Amen. 
Yes. Shut the mouths of those lions, Shut the, the evil and doers. And hear what he's mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. Praise in God. our lives. Sometimes we need to just shut our mouth and just That's listen. That's right. Just listen to what God is saying to us. Trust and obey. Don't even talk about just 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 close your mouth and just close your eyes and listen to the voice of God. Amen. And if you ask him to speak to you, he will. He'll bring thoughts in your spirit just like that. Clear your mind first and then just close your eyes and close your mouth and just listen. Okay, God, what do you have for me to hear today? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing us here together to hear your word, to hear this wonderful music. Thank you, Jesus. That brings the word to us through lyrics. We praise your name. We thank you for all that you've done and what you're about to do. We are seeing things that are happening right now that we didn't imagine what happened even last week. But it's all coming out. The truth, the truth will set this nation free. Amen. The truth praise will set you free. Yes. Hallelujah. Wouldn't it be nice to have such freedom? Mm -hmm. Whew, I just take a deep breath and say, thank you, Lord. I don't have to worry about a thing. Thank you, Everything Jesus. is Hallelujah. under control. Yes. Because you are the Lion of Judah that breaks. The chain. What are those chains in your life today? What is that chain? Is it cancer? Jesus. He can break that chain. Yes, he can. Is it sugar diabetes? He can break that chain. Yes, he can. Is it arthritis? He can My break. Hands, look. He broke that chain. In Amen. My life. Is it uh, 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 something about the side? Appendix. Appendicitis. Appendicitis. Uh -huh. There may be someone out there that's suffering from that. He could break that chain. This morning, that lion of Judah mm -hmm. can break every chain. And every, Dino. Today, right now. Every. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Break every chain. Yes. I love the word every because. Thank you, Lord. Just speak to us today. It doesn't matter word, what it is. What Cheryl's going to share with us. I know it's ordained of you that we must hear. I Jesus. can't wait to hear what Cheryl says. As a matter of fact, why don't you come here, Cheryl? Because I can't wait any longer. <laughs> can't wait any longer. I'm going to turn On Last this. Tuesday, last Tuesday evening, I shared oh, scripture from the Word of God. And if you weren't listening that, that Tuesday night, that evening, which you need to do every Tuesday. We have such great times together. We have a lot of fun. We talked about the armor of God. Right, Cheryl? Amen. What did it say, the word? Put on the armor. Put on Put the on whole armor. The whole armor of God. Not just part said. of it. Not just the breastplate or the helmet. But let your feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel. Yes. Well, Cheryl, what do you have today? Well, you know, it's, it's coming on toward Christmas, and okay, it's going on toward Christmas, and Dino said a lot of the time, you like the stories that are in our book. Well, this is not in our book, but this is a story about loneliness, and if, if you have loneliness, I hope you listen this morning. If you're... Um, going to be COVIDly uh, staying home. I hope you will listen. After gathering up torn ribbon and piles of ripped Christmas wrapping, the young mother carried trash out to the back alley. Their traditional Christmas morning had been cut short when her three children said, hurry up mom, hurry up. We have to be at dad's by 10 a.m this morning. Now this is a case of a lot of us, a lot of children go from one parent to the other, don't they? And we have to be there by 10 a.m. this morning. At the beep of his horn, all three children raced out the door to repeat the gift-giving scene with their father, his new wife, and her two children. They would be there all day, and then they would leave on a trip for the holidays. Suddenly, both the house and her heart felt alone and desolate. She sat on the warm hearth 
of the fireplace, allowing tears of emotion to run free. She took a deep breath and then an overwhelming sense of loneliness came over her and she cried out to God. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. Loneliness can be a really rough thing. Maybe you've lost a child. Maybe you lost your spouse, your mother, your father. Maybe you're just not going to be with your children this year or grandchildren or whomever you love so much. You know, the difference between alone and loneliness, aloneness refers to the physical state of being, being separated from others. Loneliness refers to the emotional state of feeling when you're rejected or desolate. Loneliness is usually a negative experience accompanied by feelings of hopelessness. Aloneness is meant to be positive experience. Have you ever had an alone positive experience? I have to get alone to study. I get my mind. It doesn't mean you're alone in person. There can be others around, but you must gain an aloneness to hear what Dina was just saying. The positive experience of a time of creativity and communing with the Lord. And there is a circumstance, a singleness of heart that um, doesn't give you loss, but the words building a bridge, being a bridge builder comes, let me find my scripture here, Hebrews 12, 15, you may want to write these down. 14 says, follow peace with, with all men and holiness. Oh, oh, there it is. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently. Let me set this aside. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness against God or any other, any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby be defiled. Another verse we must go to is in John 15 and the, let's see, 15, 12, and 13. We must, let's see, here we go, 15, 12, and 13. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. For greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And that we must die to self. We must not... Um, let me find it here. Demand that others change or be what we want them to be, but that we must initiate love toward them from us so they can love us back. And then in, uh, let me see what's next, Luke 14, 12 through 14, it says, I go to the, when thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again a recompense be made thee. In other words, unless they fix dinner for you later. Don't call your friends. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind, and thou shalt be blessed abundantly, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be 
recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Amen. So, sure, what is it all telling us? Well, it's to, words, and that yeah. right there tells us, Dino, to make invitations to go out to dinner with someone you've recently just met so that you may get acquainted and you may share the love of Jesus with them and that you get acquainted with others. Don't be unto yourself only, but become acquainted with those who need your love. Now, let me go to this fourth verse. You know, I know it's taking a little time. Hebrews 10 and 25. It says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. And what that means is come together, view, uh, change, begin to change your point of view. I wrote down notes, and I have to get them over here where I can see them in the light. Uh, come together, begin to change your point of view, recondition yourself, change your point of view, change your attitude, change your words, for you don't have to be alone like the young mother sitting on the hearth in your house. Invite others, and instead of visualizing the worst, which she was doing, she was visualizing total aloneness without her children, no more husband, no friends, no fellowship. Don't do that. It's so vital and important that we not forsake the assembling of ourselves. For the worst image is sadness, sickness, harm to your heart. But the most image is victorious and the best. And I want to say to you, we today, right now, are assembling ourselves together in love. Those of you who have come to join us that have never been here before, read the messages that others write. Pray for them, and we'll pray for you. Write us a note. Cheryl, yes, but what do you do when we have the virus? You know, that's, and they're telling us not to go out. It's not we can't have people around us. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you handle that? Well, well, we're doing it right now by Facebook. Right. This, that's is, a, right. this is a good way. This right? is this people is can't even go to church way right today. now. That's right. And right now we lift up the name of Jesus to others. Well, if you have FaceTime, you can get on FaceTime with a friend. And talk about the Lord. Or get on the phone. Get on the phone. Right. Yes, but eye to eye is a wonderful thing to see. Like well, on, that's always great. On yeah. Facebook or on, uh -huh. you know, when you FaceTime someone. Mm -hmm. But then if you can't do that, get on the phone and get mm -hmm. in the Word. And share the Word with another person. Mm -hmm. And you won't be lonely. You will find all of a sudden that loneliness will cease. For you're never alone. There is never a moment, if you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, there is never a moment that you are alone. For He's always there. All you have to do is call His name. Speak the name of Jesus.
this has to do with me, you know, talk, well, just what Cheryl's been telling us about, of uh, just picking up the phone and just talking to your friends. Yes. Because that's what friends are about, right there, right? If you don't have a friend, then you pick up the phone reach and call, out. call Cheryl. She'll talk to you. That's right, I will. You reach <laughs> out to another. We'll talk to you. And, and we love you. Uh -huh. We will be happy to talk to you if you have a need. Yes. Uh, Rhonda Barrett is so good about that. She does. She talks she to reads almost and everybody. Talks yeah. And loves uh -huh. We got some mothers too, Cheryl. That do oh, that. yes, we do. Yes, we Kevin, do a bunch. Yes, I Kevin see him Sam. praying for people. Look. Yes, and uh, um, oh, why am I drawing a blank right now? But uh, Card, Mrs. Card does, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so many others that minister to others. Yes, I mean, it's wonderful. Yes, and Brenda. Uh huh. There are so many who. Pray for you. That's right. Who reach out to you. Don't be lonely because there's victory in Jesus. And, yeah, there's joy, and, happiness. And, and we break every chain uh -huh. because we go to Him. No matter what chains bind you up, if it's a chain of loneliness, yeah. go to the Lord right. with victory because that's what we need. If you get lonely, just come over and see us. We're here. Would you call first, please? Would you? Because I don't bake cake. We'll have to run over there to the store and Sorry, get some cake. Cat man, bring some cake. That's a good way. Yes. To fellowship with people. Share. Yeah. Give cake. Give, Give coffee. Make that coffee and yes. uh, tea or whatever. And, whatever you do. And serve our cake. Well, that's a little commercial, wasn't you it? You know, Dino, there was a lady in our church. And she lost her husband. Yeah. And I'm telling you, from that day forward, she began to bake. And she took cakes to the church. She took cakes to the pastor. She took cakes to everybody mm -hmm. that had a need. She just baked cakes left and right and carried them to others. And when she finished sharing the cake and giving it to them, she went to prayer and prayed for them. And their needs were met. Many of them, their needs were yeah. met. It's amazing what sugar will do. Yes, she just ministered <laughs> right. to all of them through sugar. And you could make a sugar-free cake if you want <laughs> You to. could. You really could. <laughs> but that's a great way. You know, that's actually, I think that was one of the reasons why we even started the cafe. The, yes, the bakery. fellowship, I think. Because when people were, they were allowed to come into our cafe. Right now, we can't because, uh, no, but, because of what's going on here in Berkeley, everywhere. The vaccine is coming. The, Praise God for the vaccine. Yes, it's on its way. And if you're older, I understand that you can get that. Yeah. Wonderful and we need to give credit where credit is due. Yes, to our president. Our president. He States expedited that. On he stayed on top of that. But he, will, will we hear that in the news? No. I don't think so, but that's okay. God knows. God knows who did it. And God he gave knows. the plan. God gave the plan. So we love the president for being obedient yes. to God. Well, and we give yeah. blessings. And our to vice president, too. He the president, very much part vice of that president. Too. Yeah. To uh, our daughter's former doctor, yeah. Ben Carson. Y yes. He was her doctor. Uh -huh. And also the scientists that put it together. And oh, yes. All, all those all people those. that got. And they worked around the clock. Like your what cousin saying. who discovered DNA. Yes. My goodness, they, uh -huh. they worked. They stressed and struggled to get it. Yes. But they also followed a yeah. plan. The yes. plan of God. And he gave the information. And now... We are overcomers through this wonderful. Uh, so many lives are going to be think saved. Think about back when polio. I don't remember before my time. Oh, I do. I do. When polio was so and prevalent. With, what do they call those? Uh, 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 ministering. You better check and see if we're on because. Well, let me go around. Us. Let me go around. Wait, are you through, baby? I, well, just I can talk on the other side. Well, that's true. <laughs> see if someone's calling. Um, let's see. Uh, no, actually, it was a telemarketer. Oh, Don't Lord, we just love it? Protect us from those telemarketers. Oh, Jesus. We get all day from different people. We don't yes, even know. We don't know. Oh, Jesus. Is it rude I, to just hang up? I just, I don't like doing that. But, I, I, but after well, a while, you have to just, you, you know, when they start saying insurance or something like that, when you yeah. already have insurance, they go, click. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> well, sometimes you say, I'm sorry, but I don't need this, and I thank you. Bye bye. Oh.
How many times a day can we do that? <laughs> a lot. But thank you, Lord. Yes, for Jesus. Saving our souls. Thank you, Lord, for saving Amen. our lives. Yes. Thank you for the vaccine that's thank coming out Jesus. starting month tomorrow. Yes, amen. How quick was that? In our that's lifetime. That's the miracle of God. You it, know that. God yes. performed that miracle to bring that vaccine. Yes. To help us. Because I, I believe in the medical profession. Oh, God has given us yes. hospitals and places to go where they can help us. Yes, he does. Thank the Lord. They help God. Let's put it that way. They and Sometimes we're going to help do. ourselves. And be careful of what we eat and what we do. Yes, and, that's and for sure, uh, Dino. Stay healthy as much as we can. Get on that treadmill. We, I used to go to the, the, you know, here we live on the landing in Branson, Missouri. And the Hilton's across the way. And they have a little gym there. But we, I used to go there every day. But I can't do We would now. both we go be there. So and... careful. We don't know who's in that gym and mm -mm. who touched what. So... And we don't live in fear, but we live no. in a positive state that we want to protect. We live in fear. We live in faith. I like That's that. right. Said that all the time. Positive. And I say fear is a lie. Fear so go. is a lie. Faith is, is truth. The positivity is positive. of truth. Amen. Well, that, Amen. that's good, Cheryl, about loneliness. Because there are a lot, of, a lot of people that watch us. Well, even call, you know, text yes. and say, you know, I'm alone. My grandchildren don't come to visit me. My children are not here. Right. They don't call me or anything like that. Well, well you know what you do? Call them. Maybe your child's in service somewhere and cannot come. And so you send a letter or send, you know, communicate. But Just communicate. The, the, the evil one would put thoughts in our minds. I know. And say, oh, they don't love you anymore. That's true. They don't care about you. And, and most of the time, it doesn't matter. It's not correct. Love them. It's a lie. Love them. Just love them. Because God is love. We're talking to someone out there for mm -hmm. sure. We really are. Well, praise God. What do you want to hear right now? I've got music in my whole system. I just want to say one more thing. As we age, What's that? as we age, we tend to um, think that we're what matters. But life matters. God matters. And we want to share with our kids the joy of living. And sometimes medication does something with your brain. Oh, you my gotta, goodness, yes. you got to rebuke that. I mean, <sighs> I'm not against medication. No. Nope. I take medication, and so we have to do it. Those are great helps mm -hmm. for our blood and what have you. But we must not allow it to control our lives. That's right. Or, or, or uh, you know, I, we heard about a friend just the other day that became addicted to a pain, a pain pill that a doctor gave her. And for years now, she's been taking that pill because... It made her feel good. Well, we ought to be careful of that. Yes. You know, because it does crazy things to us. Yes. I, I've been giving a pain bill for my back, but I, you know, I don't crave it. No. Only when you need it. That's, that's there are, there's no problem with that. Sometimes we become addicted. Addiction is a problem in this world, even with senior citizens. Addiction right. is a problem. And any, so any control that. Yes. That's anytime you're giving, given some kind of pain medication, don't just take it to take it. No, no, that's a habit. You have to take it. No, if you have terrible pain, yes. Take it. <laughs> I say you take it. Yes. No, why not? Why not? I think that's fine. Because but if you don't, please don't allow it to control you. That's right. Because all because it makes you feel good. No. Let Jesus make you feel good. Yes. Call on the name of Jesus. He'll he, make you feel good. He'll he, make you happy. Yes. And satisfied. Satisfied with Jesus. That's another song. Oh, that's a wonderful but one. I can't think of the, of the melody. But okay, satisfied with no. Jesus. No, every day with Jesus. Jesus. We did the day before. That's a good one. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Yes. It's all about self. But think of these songs. There's victory. 
Amen. Think yourself and think about the victory that Jesus gives us. Jesus, my Savior, forever. We do. I, one day we're going to take this outside and show them that beautiful tree. Christmas. It's beautiful. Well, anyway, <laughs> I guess where you are too, right? Oh, let this Christmas be the happiest Christmas you've ever had, Cheryl. So I have stuff on my. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice it? <laughs> they did not. <laughs> I'm drooling or what? I don't know what it is. Okay, it, 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 <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> let's make this oh, Christmas Jesus, the happiest thank Christmas you. you've ever had. Yes. Would you do that, please? Oh, listen, let's just enjoy the blessings of the <laughs> Lord and during this Christmas season. Be thank you, Be blessed with the greatest gift that God can give and know, and be blessed by that, to know that God gave His Son to be born in a manger. For this very Christmas season. Yes. To enjoy and the birthday of the king. Someone, yes, someone Jesus, uh, requested that I play the birthday of the king. I think I'm going to do that Tuesday night when you come and visit us again. Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. Central Time. I'm Amen. Play the birthday of the king. That's, a, again, one of my favorite songs during the Christmas holiday. It's one of these old, old hymns, the birthday of the king. So anyway, we'll just Thank keep you, going Jesus. with you and rejoicing during this Christmas season and did you do all your shopping yet? Did you get it all done online? <laughs> Isn't it great you get shop online? <clears throat> Just don't go crazy now. Don't spend a whole lot of money. Amen. Except when you go on BransonCakes.com. Go a little crazy on there. That would help us. <laughs> you you know, uh, Donna just said that uh, she said hello to us and she said I've shared some of your CDs. She did. So she's been getting CDs and sharing them with others. And be sure to tell them uh, that you and that you are um, on this that the CDs are being played on this program every uh, week. Um, Different on oh, our we play yes, here? there are yeah. so ma many oh, of the so CDs, so CDs that are played, yeah. and uh, so. Well, let me tell you, Cheryl. We just got uh, another order on the basket. Someone's going to, it's going to be shipped tomorrow morning. They're so excited. It's going to go to Wisconsin. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. wow. That's great, great. And not only that, this person, I'm not going to give names because we, mm -mm. Don't, we don't like to do that when it comes where people donate and what have you to our ministry. <laughs> but this sweet lady and her husband also donated oh, besides yes. that to oh, our my ministry, goodness, besides yes. getting the basket. What a blessing. They Thank did. You. And you How know, precious. I've been praying about that this weekend because tomorrow morning, there are bills that have to be paid. I said, Lord, supply our need. He never fails us. Amen. He will never fail you. And we praise God that, that those that plant seed into our ministry, that God will bless them abundantly. And we're getting testimonies of people being blessed because of planting in our ministry. Amen. Prayer is number one. That's, that's a good seed to plant in our ministry, praying for us. And we get uh -huh. a lot of that. And then, of course, Amen. we have to pay our bills and take care of things, you know, during the week. As I've been telling you, we can't travel. We can't go anywhere. 
uh, you say, well, Dina, you've got a cafe. Well, praise God, you got something there. And of course, it's not very busy because no restaurant. Can you imagine the shutting down of all these mom and pop restaurants? And not only mom and pop, but, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, people have got substantial amount of investment in these great restaurants shutting down in New York and Los Angeles. And it's hurting so many people. We have to yes. pray for that. Let's pray for those. And let's pray for the governors and those that are making these laws and what have you. Yes. Father, I pray oh, Jesus. that you will just help this nation. Yes, we don't want Lord. this nation to go into recession or anything no. like that financially. Here. We want to continue to prosper. We're the, 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 most, the greatest nation in the world. We don't want any other nation to control our nation, no, Father. Jesus, I rebuke that. Thank you. I yes, we're in. Anything that comes from China, firm that's agreement. To control us, Father. Yes. I rebuke it right now. Reveal. Mm -hmm. That's the word. Yes. Reveal that which is happening. Yes, Lord. Bring it all out you, Jesus. to the front, so we, as citizens of the United States, will know what's going on and what we need to pray about. Amen. I pray for our present president, Father. The days that he has in that White House. Yes, Lord. Multiply the the uh, enormous the blessings decisions yes. that will help this nation. God decisions. In the next week or two. God decisions. As I said a while ago, and I'm hearing it from a lot Jesus of people. Jesus name. They say there's a shifting going on right mm -hmm. now in this nation. I'm mm -hmm. reading it everywhere. So Amen. my friends are telling me, they're texting me and saying, Dino, Amen. last Monday I got a text. Something's gonna happen this week spiritually in this nation. Did you watch yesterday with all those Christians there? Bless Mike Lindell's heart. Oh, yes. Father, God keep, bless that man. Keep, keep those pillows selling. Amen. Father, because yes. he is blessing ministries everywhere. Yes, he is. I'm sure he underwritten that whole thing yesterday. I'm not positive. But bless him, Lord. He was the spokesman mm -hmm. for bringing uh, Christians to, to the White, White House. Yes. And, and to the courts there, walking around there as they did in Jericho. Remember? The walls yes, came tumbling and down. They came that means to me that's truth right. will be revealed. And that's what we're praying for right now. Already, truth is coming out. Lord, Wait till you see what happens on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -mm -mm. next week. Lord, give our president uh, steadfastness, immovableness yes. Yes. in his heart and his spirit and yes. in his flesh. And let him carry on yes. with what is righteous what yes, is righteous and in jesus you know who name put there the white who should be our president you know yes god and we're not going to complain if anything happens oh, that no. we don't think is right we're not going to complain no. we're going to just praise you and thank you but in your name the enemy cannot for win for those that are serving our government the right now the enemy cannot of win in Jesus name praise God i saw the time magazine all you people have revised that cover of the time magazine Jesus and i love it there were, there were, uh, someone put uh, a put a nurse there they they should be the the, the person of the year yes. that has helped those that oh, have died yes. and have some have have sacrificed their lives yes. for others that also died because of the virus Yes. Oh, uh, who just died? Our country star. Just oh, we knew so well here. In Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride is yes. a good friend of ours here. He he had a he had a show here in Branson for years, and we had him on our show. Yes, we and, did. Uh, how that happened? He died of the virus. See, it's a killer, but we're getting the vaccine. Hallelujah. And interimly, interimly, till you get the vaccine, you trust the Lord. We're getting that V word, vaccine. The V word. Victory. Victory in Jesus. In Jesus. Trust the Lord Amen. and stay um, stay away from those who are sick and pray for them no, and, and, and Facebook them. Yeah. Uh, FaceTime right. them, I'm Face trying to say. Them. And this is a vehicle right here that we can talk. Yes, it's great Jesus. that we can just spend time together. Just chat. That's yes. what we're doing right now. We're just chatting So with you. wonderful, and we love I you so. I hear you back, that's all. Me too. But anyway, <laughs> we get your messages. Yes. People say, praise God, amen. I agree with you, Dino. Thank you, Jesus. Dino. And we get first one or two that come on there, and they've got their their interpretation of whatever is happening, which doesn't, doesn't agree with the Word of God. But anyway, thank you, Cheryl, for the... The sermon on loneliness well, I, and what you read and all the I, scriptures that you gave. I would just to like to, to thank uh, uh, June Hunt. She is the one 
who wrote oh, this Hunt. beautiful... That's H.L. Hunt's daughter. Yes, yes. Great she wrote this about. wonderful... We were with Hope. her just, what, a couple, three months ago in Dallas? Yes, her, her ministry is Hope for the Heart. She's on radio, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. and she's a sweet, sweet mm-hmm. lady, and, and we love that family. Isn't it wonderful that people have put us to, that God has put us together with? Yes, oh, oh Jesus, we amazing. thank you. The opportunity that God totally. has given to us. Mm-hmm. But that's what happens when you're faithful. Yes. And you stay thank on you, that Lord. road that is straight. It's an arrow, but it's straight. That's okay. We can handle any situation. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Is there anything else God's laying on your heart, Cheryl? Um, I, I was just saying health care work, uh, just reading health care workers. Healthcare workers uh, I don't understand why, what would happen if Biden and Harris were to get in. Well, we don't know. God and knows. so... We're we not, just trust God. Somebody just said that. And, and well, we're not judging. We're no. believing God for the victory. For and his victory. As I said a while ago, we need to pray. Pray. That's all we've got to do. Kay Clark, I love you. God will reveal what needs to be revealed. Okay? Amen. She says, walk in faith and wisdom. Faith and wisdom. And that's the church we went to. That's faith and church. wisdom church. My brother-in-law, Gary McSpadden. Until he Carol, passed. He's passing right now. And we pray for her too in the church. And yes. All the churches here in Branson, Missouri. Yes. I pray for this church. Yes, we do. Again, there are those that have been oh, planting financial seed into this church and saying, Dino, we're behind you 100%. I want to plant in good soil. Praise you, And Jesus. I want to believe God with you that lives will be saved. People will be healed by the power of God. Yes. And that we can stay positive together. And positive is reading the word and believing on the promises of God. Yes, we Stand do. On the promises of God. Christ my King. Let these praises ring. Glory in the highest I shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior. Standing. On his precious word. Oh, yes, they are. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Cheryl, for sharing. Oh, Thank you for everybody. Thank such you, a Usher, pleasure every for time. Taking up the offer. Oh, no, we don't have that, do we? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, unless you can come to your house and, and say, give to the ministry, well, mm. they, they, you know, in your spirit, that happens. A lot of you do. Get on uh, Branson. Cakes.com. Cakes.com is a place right there where you can don- donate to our ministry. Mm-hmm. You know, I've become a little bolder about, about re- you know, not requesting, but it's a command of God. Yes, we, paying your tithes, you know, tithes and, and, and giving and gifts ministries. of offering. Not only our ministries, there's so many great ministries yes. that God has placed before us. But thank you that those that believe in our ministry mm-hmm. that go to BransonCakes.com, there's a place right there. And some people, there's a hundred, you know, I think there's 50, a hundred, and some people are doing multiple hundreds, going, but, 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 like that. And we, thank God, we got to take care of something else right. about our overhead that we've got to take care of in our lives to, to, to just exist. And a lot of you do too. And we pray for you. Yes, we, we do. We pray that God does the same for you. That, that God will have someone just press that little button, da, 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 over that telephone number. And call Amen. you and say, I want to bless you. What yes, you praise the Lord. We yes. watched on TV this morning. The gentleman, uh, incognito, no one wants to know, no one needs to know who he is. And no. He gives out all this money, this cash for Christmas. He surely well, does. What happened to you? Yes. Why not? Why not? Got to have faith, in hope, mail, and charity. They come to you in the mail, right? Let's believe for that's right. the mail for you. Wouldn't that be Amen. great? 
In fact, we could just pray for that. We thank you, Jesus, and we pray for checks in the mail for those who are givers and lovers of Christ. And we honor you, Lord Jesus, that uh, bills may not be so overwhelming and things like that. So we honor you, Jesus, in your name. We praise you for all you're doing. Amen. And Cheryl and I don't worry. No. We don't sorrow for anything because mm -hmm. we know already God is speaking to people even right now that are saying, He's, he's on saying the throne. To you in your heart, who you, who you need to give to, no matter what the amount is, it doesn't matter. And God's speaking to you right now. Yes. I believe that. Whether it's our ministry, Dean and Cheryl, International Ministries, or whatever ministry yes. that is blessing you. Yes. That's a way of saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this ministry. Amen. Is your name. Standing on the promises. That's a great song to end with, and we just did it. Okay? Well, have a wonderful day. Stay in house. Is it snowing out there? Oh, it's snowing a lot here, too. It's coming out. First snow. <laughs> be blessed. This winter. So be blessed. Cheryl, don't press that button yet, because I'm going to say a few words again. Oh, okay. And then we're going to go. Trust in God. Mm-hmm. Trust. Trust. Don't trust in yourself. Don't trust in anything else. Don't trust in money. Don't trust in... But trust in God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Savior. We love you. Thank you for your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus. that you have given to be on this earth to save us of our sins. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all we can do is thank you. We are so Jesus. blessed. We are blessed beyond, and we thank you for the blessing. Praise in you. your name we pray. Amen. Say goodbye to everybody, Cheryl. Goodbye, everyone, and we will post the address once again. God love you. We love you, too.